how are you guys doing? This video shows you how you take Earthquake Tor, an unwalled subwoofer which has active and passive 10 inch, and you cut it down so it fits between a two by four 16 inch on center. To do this, we're gonna do the whole job in front of you. Right here I have a wall, 16 inch on center, two by six. And now I'm gonna cut this down and drop it here and sheet rock on top of it and have a register like this, a heater register like that, to vent, to send a sound into the room. You could also do it in the floor. The procedure is the same. First step is to find out where you're gonna mount it in the wall. Measure exactly the inner dimension. I'm measuring here 14, 5 eighths. I'm measuring here 14, 5 eighths. I want it tight and I wanna put silicone around it. So I'm going to cut this guy down to 14 and a half inch wide. I'm going to cut from each side. To tell you how much it is going to be, I'm going to measure. Basically it's going to be standard, 14 and a half by the time you're done. You're going to need to cut from it 2 inch from each side. 2 inch from one side, 2 inch from the other. Okay, for those of you on the job site, you can also use a skill saw to do the job. Basically, half inch thick material, you just gotta make sure the cut is nice. Next, we are measuring the front of the Thor so that wood blocks can be cut and inserted here. This will allow us to seal the front of the Thor off from the rest of the wall. For aesthetic purposes, you can also add a heater register to the front side. Simply cut out a hole on the sheetrock and insert a standard register. Okay, one of the most important things you have to do is make sure that you have silicone all around, inner edge, the wood, and in front, right? All around here. It doesn't hurt to silicone more everywhere else. When you do the job to finish it, you need to make sure you don't use nails. You need to use sheet wall screws so that when you fasten it, these are tight, don't break through the paper and do it. So your finished product looks like this, basically. And make sure the grill is over the speaker, not outside. From Earthquake Sound, thank you very much and wish you the best of luck.